It's the guts and it's the glory A hundred stripes, a hundred stories It's the Pledge of Allegiance on the 4th of July It's them handwritten letters from home It's them sleepless nights alone It's his newborn baby he left with his wife Mr. Red, White and Blue gathering us here today to witness our beloved sons and daughters fulfilling a goal as they begin their journey to be edified and forged to be leaders. This oath ceremony marks the start of your incredible journey here in Annapolis. President Roosevelt states, the credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly who errs, who comes up short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. Class of 2027, rise. Having been appointed a midshipman in the United States Navy, do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic? You will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. You take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And you will well and faithfully discharge the use of the office for which you are about to enter. So help you God. All right, Patriot Plates, I'm heading into Cleve Summer. So I will see you guys in six weeks. And be sure to check out the World War II veteran whose story we will be releasing soon.